Hello. My road trip story is a story that would have happened if the police hadn't arrived. Now, I don't blame the police for arriving um, because my parents called the police. And, and I don't blame them either because, quite frankly, they didn't know where my friend and I were at the time. Well, let me clarify. Some people might say that we were missing. Uh, I would like to say that we weren't missing. My friend and I knew exactly where we were. Uh, but it's just that I don't know how many people in the audience have children. <laughs> Uh, my friend and I were eight at the time, and uh, <laughs> it was getting dark, and my, my parents were getting concerned because we hadn't returned home. They were wondering where we were, so they, they s called the police. Now, this road trip that I'm going to tell you about was my idea. I have a dear uncle who lives in New Jersey, and his name is Uncle Jim, Jim Fogarty. And it was my idea to go visit Uncle Jim, to surprise him. Uh, Uncle Jim lived in Verona, New Jersey. I don't know if anybody out there knows where Verona, New Jersey is. But it's uh, northeast New Jersey. It's near Passaic. And uh, I did a map quest. It's uh, 109 miles from Havertown, which is where this story takes place. So uh, my friend and I were going to ride our bikes to visit <laughs> Uncle Jim in, in Verona, New Jersey. Um, I guess we hatched this plan around 7 p.m. And I realized maybe 7 p.m. wasn't the best time to start out on our bikes up the, <laughs> the parkway. So, um, <laughs> and, and also, there, you know, we didn't have any food. And, and I realized that we would probably need some food for this, this trip. So uh, we decided to spend the night beneath a bush uh, behind Manoa Presbyterian uh, <laughs> Church. And then before dawn, I was going to sneak into my house without my parents knowing I was there. I, I don't know how I, I, I felt this, but I was going to make cheese sandwiches. And uh, Stacy was going to sneak into her house and get a map of New Jersey, and we were going to be off. So uh, that was the plan. And uh, we went to sleep behind these bushes. And I was asleep, and I remember uh, being awakened by a bright, startling bright light. I thought it was daylight. And uh, I also heard the sound of screeching tires, too, coming into the church parking lot. And so none of this was really making sense to me. So I, I looked you know, beyond the, the bush, and I could hear what sounded like police radios. Now, my, my father was a cop, so I, I know what a police radio sounds like. And uh, yeah, there were about five cop cars in this church parking lot. And all of a sudden, I heard this man's voice. He sounded very stern, and it, just like cops, you know, where they, where they talk very, OK. Carolyn McNasby, if you are behind the bush, please come out now. And then he repeated the same instruction for my friend Stacy. Well, we were both terrified, and uh, we came out from behind the bush, and uh, we were escorted over to a police car where we were then told that we were going to be driven home. Now, at that point, my biggest concern was that my parents would find out <laughs> that I wasn't home before dark. <laughs> so I, I tried to bargain with the police officer. I said, hey, listen, you know, I live a couple blocks away. Maybe I could just ride my bike home, and you know we could just <laughs> call it even. No, no. Well, you know, my bike, I don't want to leave it here. Well, we can put it in my trunk, and I'll drive you home. So anyway, the idea of hiding and going through the back door of my house and, and evading uh, detection was not to be. I was escorted to the front door by a police officer, and uh, you know, the funny thing is, I don't remember my father giving me a punishment. What he did was lecture me about the five 
townships that were involved in the search for me and my friend, and also uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> I was lost in South Philadelphia when I was four, so, but that's a different story. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I was sort of glad that we didn't go on the road trip after all, because everybody knows that cheese sandwiches are best made by your mom, so, yeah. <laughs>